have these two pieces for jewelry um, and I kind of like these because I think you can make a big living room clock out of these for the dollhouse in 1 to 12 if you stack them like this but I'm going to try to put some UV resin in there and for that I have some uh, white tape right here so I'm going to stick it on there both of these so I make sure they stick really well to this tape and then I take some of my UV resin and I put some of it on my work surface and then I have some red UV coloring here uh, resin coloring yes it's a red one so I'm just mixing not even a drop of it in there and I'm going to mix it really good and I'm going to put a drop of it in each of these tiny holes like that and then into the lamp it goes I have been under my lamp for 5 minutes so I'm just taking them off my paper here and putting that together so I'm going to take some glue and glue these two pieces together so I'm putting on some glue in the middle Make sure you turn them the way you want to while putting them to each other together. I am making the good side facing down right now. And um, let the glue do what it has to do. So let it sit until it's all dry. So they are now glued together so I have the nice side on this side and the not so nice side on the other one. So this is the good side. Now I'm going to make the pointers for the clock and for that I have this hinge mold uh, and I have some red, brown, gold, yellow rest clay here and I'm going to put that into my mold. You can cut them out uh, of a piece of clay instead, or you can make these however you want to. I like this to be a bit fancy, so that's why I'm using this one for the middle part. Let's see how long it needs to be. That's actually a bit too long, so I'm just cutting it off there. For Yep, the long, the long one. I put the clay through my pass machine on a setting five, on, and I'm just cutting out a small arrow because I don't want it to be as big as the other one that I just made in my mold. I'm going to make it like pointy here. As you can see, I have a point right there, and I don't want this half as long as the other one. So I'm going to make that end around there. Then I take a leftover piece, and I'm going to take my hole puncher and punch out a piece of the clay for the middle part. So I am gluing well I'm putting these two parts together so that my tiny arrow is sitting on this part uh, and I'm going to take a tiny tiny bit of it and make it into a tiny ball and I'm going to put that in the middle I baked the two pieces 
for my clock. Now I'm going to put it, to put it together. So I'm going to put 12 up here and 6 down here. I know that's the opposite way around for you. So I'm using super glue to glue this down. So well, that's how I made a big clock and you can of course turn it so it's whatever you like to. Oh, let's see if I can get it up here. So that would be a big wall clock. Very easy and kind of pretty. I like it. So that's it. Happy crafting!